Closing out Women's History Month today, highlighting a pioneer for women's sports. Babe Diedrichson Zaharias was a multi-sports legend from right here in our own backyard. Let's look at her legacy. The year was 1932. The country was enduring the gravest crisis in American history, the Great Depression. Yet during that heartache, the Olympics would offer an escape and the world would be introduced to Babe Diedrichson. Dr. Susan Califf, a professor of women's studies and author of a book about Babe's life. I believe Babe is the finest athlete, male or female, that ever lived. Born as Mildred in Port Arthur, Texas, Babe, given the nickname by her mom, would spend her childhood beating neighborhood boys in pickup games. As a standout teen athlete, she competed in basketball, baseball, hockey, tennis, and track, among other sports. She later dropped out of high school to focus completely on athletics. The excellence that she brought to sports competition, I think, opened the door for uh, everything that came after her. Babe dominated the 1932 Olympics, where she collected two gold medals and one silver in track and field. She also set Olympic and world records in various events. People followed her not only for her sports <laughs> excellence, but because she was such a character, she actually called herself the greatest long before Muhammad Ali had coined the phrase. As a woman reaching unprecedented feats, she often became the subject of scrutiny in the media by men who believed she had no business competing in sports. One sports writer wrote, what bathroom should she use, Mr. Miss or It? And I'm convinced this took a significant emotional toll on Babe. One man who was attracted to her talent, professional wrestler George Zaharias. The two would later marry. George gave up all of his own work, became Babe's manager, and evidence exists to suggest that he actually pushed her too hard. In the 1940s, Babe turned her prowess to golf. Her accomplishments included winning 14 amateur tournaments in a row, a victorious streak that remains the longest in golf history. In her illustrious 18-year career as a golfer, she had 82 wins. As a founding member of the LPGA, Babe went on to reign professionally, even winning her last major golf tournament while she was suffering from terminal colon cancer. The disease would eventually take her life at the young age of 45. Can you think of anyone else since Babe's time who has done even half of what she's done? No. That's what I think makes her so singular. A life cut short, but a life that would forever change the landscape of female sports.